the guru of squad doubles, the, the assassin like no other. Yes, I'm the best at what I do. One of the most notorious YouTube anime and manga community. Don't doubt the free. Please just don't do it. <sighs> sometimes, man, I swear, sometimes just dealing with people. This video has been surprisingly a long time coming. Nothing I plan on, but you know, it, it just needs to be said. Because I've talked about it. I think it's some videos. I know I've talked about it in Hangouts. I've talked about it in live streams. Pretty sure I talked about it in Squad Double Zero. Probably Squad Double Zero Universe. I've talked about this numerous times. And it needs to be said. I, I need to drop a video, okay? Because because I'm, I'm sick and tired of this, man. Talking about Luffy. Well, first off, before I get into in death with it, deaths don't happen in One Piece? Are we reading the same series? Are we watching the same anime? Re really? Deaths do not happen. Deaths. Death. People dying do, does not happen in One Piece. How many flat? How many body bags in flashbacks? How how many? Oh, it doesn't happen in real time. Oda emphasizes certain deaths. He doesn't emphasize father. He doesn't like a bunch of blood and gore. He doesn't emphasize father deaths. How many deaths does Doggo? How many? What is the track record of body bags that Zoro has at this point? Seriously, Ser seriously. Bro, you think he's he's Moroni Kenshin? You think he's Kenshin no more? You think he's not killing him for? The fuck? His blade. He's holds back and he can still kill. Nami told him to hold back. Are, are we serious? You you think none of the Marines? Marine Ford War. We're over a hundred thousand Marines. There were body back. There were just bodies. Kobe saw with the observate the awakening of his observation hockey. You had Gecko Moria saying, "All these shadows are mine." You have older emphasizing important deaths. Whitebeard Edward Nugget. You had Five Fist Portugas DS. White Bear was the Yonko, by the way. I mean, how many deaths do you want? Oda has introduced so many deaths in the series, but yet y'all still want more. Now, sometimes I say, okay, Oda, why? why? Mm, I ain't vibing it, but people making an issue that bodies don't drop. How many other series do bodies not drop? And y'all are okay with that? Or less bodies have dropped in and have in one piece? But y'all are okay with that? Please no double standard and hypocrisy. Please don't do. Now. Why can't Luffy kill? That That is the sub, obviously, the title of this video. The subject matter that I shall be discussing. Quickly, might I add. Because this is the asinine. This shouldn't even be a discussion. I'm here saying... Okay, Luffy doesn't have it in him to kill, which is that's completely unfactual, non-factual. You will find that nowhere in the series of One Piece to support that ludicrous claim. And then an astronaut claim, Luffy cannot kill. Luffy will never kill. What? Are you older? Are you Ichiro, Ichiro older writing this manga? Are, are we serious right? Luffy, who is a pirate who strides whose ambition main goal the entire goal that he's about is to become pirate king you tell me bodies won't drop just from just a story writing perspective that can't happen number one number two just from a purely logical standpoint that can't happen now just because you become pirate king don't mean you're gonna have a laundry list of body bags it actually makes sense that he hasn't killed it really does or at least not kill many you know we again we don't know him knocking up some of them for, not knocking up in the sense of Craigle don't get it twisted but knocking out some of them fire we, we don't know if some of them made it out alive because we know how hard Luffy hits he's ridiculously hard and people need to stop playing but continuing on Luffy not killing now first of all let, let's go back to the manga Okay, because the anime didn't portray the same way. I'm talking about the fight versus Buggy. Now, actually, Luffy would have took that L if the fight would have continued. But, you know, that's an entirely different discussion. The thing is, and I 
don't know how much I love Luffy, but then it's, it's fashion. And he would have took that L to wipe it too. Just saying, just saying. Quick four minute L, by the way. The thing is, Luffy was surprised that Buggy the Clown at that time, you know, previous alias before it was Buggy the Star Clown later on, post time skip. Buggy the Clown wasn't dead. He's like, you're not dead? Ding, ding, ding. That's evidence point number one and should be the only evidence I need. Luffy has no qualms with death. He has no qualms with killing. Point number two. What did he say to Vivi? Vivi. Princess Vivi. Sorry, y'all. I was thinking two thoughts at the same time. Some things. What did he say? He said that war people die. The whole point is to kick his ass. You know, kick his ass. That's point number two. Point number three and actually backtracking back to Orlando Park. He's like, yo. And nowhere in this quote did he say Luffy will not kill. Mind you this. He said, I suck. Pretty much I suck with swords. Can't navigate. Can't cook. And even suck at line. But what I do, you know, I'm going to protect my Nakamu as a captain. I'm going to kick their ass. I'm going to kick ass. That's his, you know, rule. He, he's defined what he's about as a captain. He defined what it is that his role is on the Stride crew. Now, when you look at that kick ass, does, does you see anywhere in that dude who says, I will not kill? No, you don't. Point number four. Rob Lucci. People forget this, and they, and they say, oh, no, come on, power. If you go back to the fight, especially in the manga, mind you, Rob Lucci clearly almost died. He clearly was in and out of consciousness when he hit that battleship and if not for that battleship Rob Lucci would have been Luffy's first casualty this is factual because he was about to fall into the ocean and would have sunk and drowned that's body bag okay first major you know antagonist body bag okay villain okay need I go more oh yes I will point number five Hordy Jones Hordy Jones you might say Oh, yes. Now, Luffy hits him with the Red Hulk. And then there was a whole elephant gatling. You think he was concerned about Hordy Jones' safety and life at that point? I'm sorry. If you were like me and Amy, you thought Hordy Jones was dead. I thought, I thought Hordy Jones was dead. Pure and simple. I thought he was dead. And we find out him and the other ones, you know, the Asian on steroids and everything else. They, they're still alive. But Hordy Jones could have easily been dead. Seriously. If enough of them elephant gatlings would have hit him, the hits from the elephant gatling gun, you, you really think he would have survived? Come on now. Come on now. He ain't no heavenly demon. Don de do flaming wicked joker. And some of these other dudes like white beard and whatnot. Like, like, let's keep it real, people. Let's keep it real. Point number six, Caesar Clown. Again, this is a very similar situation to Rob Lucci. Caesar Clown, who Luffy flung out because he, he couldn't stand at the point. Now, I, I, there was be a point seven, okay, about the killing and, and death. But point six, he sends him flying. If not for that tanker, Caesar Clown's dead because he gets hit by the Grizzly Magnum, it's catapulted way over there, and he would have ended up in the middle of the ocean. And what happens? Another Devil Fruit user sinks to Davy Jones' locker, and it's a done data. They're dead. That's a second chance at a body bag that Oda didn't pursue because of uh, he decided to take a different route with this story. Pure and simple with this series. Pure and simple. Point number seven. When he's watched people die. And the best example of this that people he doesn't care about. It was when he watched Brown Beards in the anime actually uh, showed this actually better than manga. Because in the anime... Here you had Brownbeard's former, you know, henchman or whatever. He's just watching them die by seizure clowns, poisonous gas, or what seems to be death. Whether they actually died or not, who knows? Uh, because of the, you know, the whole reversal of chemicals and whatnot. But there's a high chance that they died. He watched them die. And Luffy somehow has qualms. He has no qualms. None whatsoever. None. Zero zilts. Not a. I, I don't understand how hard it is to get this. Now, I've said this before and I've said it again. Also, Bellamy could have been dead. 
Luffy ended up saving him. But, you know, Bellamy was Luffy's definite first body bag, but Luffy, oh, they had Luffy save him. And I made a video talking about him, you know, next one of the next Straw Hats. Uh, at this point, that all but confirmed. But besides that, there were four people I've been long talking about. Two definite, one very highly likely, and one a great possibility as well. And that great possibility is heavenly, it's, it's Do Flamingo, the Joker. We don't know if Joker's dead or alive. That's, that's facts. The way he was covered up, it was almost like he was dead. And I've said it before and said it again. Lou, you know, I thought that, you know, you can go back to videos like a couple years back. And I thought there was going to be a long war. But Oda decided to give it. He decided a completely different round. He wanted to take which I'm fine with. But at this point, what purpose does Doflamingo serve in the series? He's not going to side with Luffy, that's for certain. He's not Sir Crocodile or Mr. One Dies Bones. Okay, what is he? he he's not going to side with the Celestial Dragons, the Tenure Beetle, the World Numbers. He's not going to do that with the girls there. No. So, unless it's a revenge kind of deal, which could work out beautifully, I don't, and maybe Luffy kills him then, I don't see what what purpose does Doflamingo have in the series besides the eyes and maybe some knowledge. Was he going to hold him and impel down? Really? Really? You think he's going to be held and impel down? Seriously? You think they're going to be able to get him? Well, he is pretty knocked unconscious, but... Oda, Oda going to have to do something special for o, for Doflamingo not to be uh, dead. We need to see them eyes, but besides that, and maybe what he knows historically, you know, what knowledge he has on the uh, Tim Rubito, but besides that, I, I don't see any purpose of him still being alive. Then, uh, the, the highly likely, as I said, this was way, way back. I've been seeing this for at least over a year. Kaido. Kaido did not seem like the kind of person from, from the hints, from the foreshadowing, you know, that we got that Luffy just battles and he's just going to be A-OK -okay with just letting this dude live. And then now with the confirmation of the whole he can't be killed kind of thing, suicide and everything else ain't working, beheading, torture, all this capture and whatnot. Luffy not killing him? Come on now. How, how can Luffy kill? Do you recognize how hard Luffy hits? Everybody feels that jump. Everybody feels Luffy's hits. That's factual. Go back through all his fights. If he can touch him, they're feeling him. That's fact. You cannot deny and try to circumvent, skate, you know, sidestep. The, this is fact, okay? Stop denying the facts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about logic, reason, facts, and evidence. And these are facts. Luffy punches hurt. He's naturally strong and it's enhanced because of his devil fruit. His rubber, his rubber abilities with his gumma gumma no meat. Okay. Kaido. And, and at this point, he needs to be body back. And forget talking about everybody else. Luffy, look. Luffy needs to be able to take guys by like Kaido down by himself. This is just what it is. If he wants to be Pirate King, you can say, oh, you don't know him. Look, man, Doflamingo's an idiot to take on two powerful dudes. Luffy and him fought by themselves. That, that's what it was. And you could try to go up. Look, they would, each had multiple opportunities. And doing, doing, Oda read it, wrote it because he wanted to showcase abilities and everything else. That's Oda's writing. Whatever. Whether you agree or disagree, that's what happened. Now, the thing with Kaido, oh, how is he going to... What do you mean, how is he... You're acting like they're going to fight. In, in in the same arc, like Luffy ain't he not only is he not ready, he's not physically fit to be able to fight a young girl. Are, are you serious? Come on, people like like let's use some logical and rational sense here. Not only that, okay, not only that, let's continue on. Black young girl, another young girl, Blackbeard Marshall D teach. That's another body that's a definite body bag. The whole thing with age I mean the whole that they're like two sides of the same coin. Everything they've been natural enemies since day one. If Blackbeard isn't killed, that's some straight BS, dog. Blackbeard has to die. He has to die. You think Blackbeard's just gonna let Luffy run free? Now I have predicted three different uh, battles. The first one, um, Luffy kind of escaped like it just had to happen. The second one, uh, Clash, and, and it just wasn't worth it. And the third one's the final battle in Raptor for One Piece. And they and Luffy kills him. 
Luffy not killing Blackbeard makes no logical sense. It makes no logical sense. Luffy, I, I mean, you can say what you want, but please explain to me. Give a legitimate reason as to why Luffy shouldn't kill Blackbeard. Before we go into anything else, you please tell me in the comment section. Because y'all say some interesting things. I'll just keep it real. Please tell me why Luffy shouldn't kill Blackbeard or can't kill Blackbeard. It's clear that he's been hurt. It's even back in Impel Down show that Luffy could hurt him. This is before Armament's hockey. Are we serious right now? Are, are, we, are, we re are we really serious right now? Come on now, stop. In the fourth one, and there may be dealings with the girl saying who else knows. But, Akainu Saka. Fleet Admiral Akainu Sakazuki's gotta go. He killed Ace. Not only that. The battle between Luffy and Akainu, you don't think that's going to be anything but a death match? Come on now, stop. In the final war, where bodies are going to be dropping? Akainu definitely, if, if Blackbeard somehow stays alive, maybe Oda uses him. Akainu, there definitely isn't any reason that he should live. Really? What? Show me a reason. During the war, as to why Akainu should make it out of there alive. Please, I, I want to know. Because y'all are saying all this. Luffy got to kill people. It, at the end of the day, this is what it comes down to. He needs to kill. He needs to kill mainly just to survive. Like, yes, he's not focused and he's not bloodthirsty on out here trying to kill. But he will kill if necessary. It's been so many hints that Oda has given. I mean, we have Doflamingo. We don't know. Bellamy was all but... He was knocking on death's door and Luffy could have easily had him... He could have easily killed him at that point. This is fact. Rob Lucci should be dead. Caesar Clown should be dead. And there's probably plenty more that could have been dead. We just want to ignore facts now? Come on now, stop. Unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts. This video went a little bit extra because I, I wanted to do a little detail on it. But at the end of the day, let's please stop with the nonsensical claims, ladies and gentlemen. Please. It's it's not good. It's not good at all. And it makes you wonder if we're reading two different series. It really does. Alright, y'all. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful night. Peace.